I'm running a business, um, but I cannot pay myself a salary. That is uh, the question uh, I've got from over 1,300 businesses that I've mentored and coached over the last two years. Everyone is asking me that question. You know, I, I'm, I'm in this, I'm in a business, but I can't seem to uh, really make a profit or I can't really seem to uh, pay myself a salary. I feel like a hamster on a wheel, you know, running around all the time up and just going in a circle and not getting anywhere. And that is, I want to say, um, from my experience, over 1,200, 300 uh, businesses in the last two years that I've coached and mentored and turned around the, the common problem. So what uh, are we saying? What are we talking about? The, I would say the first part or the first aspect would be uh, not understanding uh, the fundamental uh, principles that I'm going to share with you now. The one is uh, business owners uh, want to uh, do everything. What do I mean? Uh, looking at the uh, uh, meet Minsa, uh, which uh, you see on the screen, uh, you will have at the top the normal mincer, uh, the traditional one with the with the lever that you turn. You will have to put in the top. You'll have to put um, chunks of meat, uh, or we use in the old times. You know, in the kitchen we put some dough in there. I still remember in Christmas over the festive season, you put some dough in there, and then you turn the lever in front, and you'll have some. Uh, a little templates and some biscuits that we made. But if you put a chunk of meat in and you turn the lever at the front, you'll get the mince. So in business, you can see or look at uh, or refer to as the chunks of meat as the sales and marketing that's at the top. Uh, and the turning the lever is the operations and the front is the finance and uh, admin, the mince coming up. So now what we do in business is we go out and we get the... Uh, uh, um, chunks of meat, the sales we get it, and we put it in the top, and we have to, you have to actually uh, stuff that funnel in the top to really get it uh, full. And then when it's full, you run down and you go, and you want to turn the lever, and you turn the lever, and when you see the, the mints coming out in the front, you run to the front, and you get the money, and uh, do the invoices, and get all of that right. And when you run back to, to the top, uh, you will find there's no meat. So, what am I saying? I'm saying you cannot uh, try and do all three at the same time. I have had people sit in front of me literally crying, saying, you know, I've been trying this for five, six, seven, eight years, uh, and I'm not getting it right. The question you have to ask yourself is, what am I good at? Uh, if you are not good at sales and marketing, don't go there, don't be there. Uh, you'll only be successful, listen to what I'm saying to you, you'll only be successful at what you are uh, passionate about. So uh, I get people telling me, uh, you know, I'm doing sales and marketing, I don't like it. If you don't like it, if it's not your passion, you're going to do more bad than good. Yes. So find out what do you want out of the three. Are you good at sales and marketing? If not, operations or finance and admin. So get one. Then the second thing is that you need to understand is you need an individual plan for each of these three components. You cannot, people come to me and say they want a business strategy and it's got to then cover all of this. No, you cannot. You've got to have a sales and marketing strategy that will take care of the sales and marketing. You've got to have an operational strategy that will take care of the operations and the finance and admin, which will do the budgets and the cash flow budgets and the forecasting and the costing and all of those aspects. So those are the three aspects that you'll need to cover. So point number three is then you'll have to go and look at what is in your sales and marketing, what do you need. You're not, and I advise people not to go and appoint someone immediately. Look at the social media, look at your website, look at your uh, uh, videos, uh, uh, TikTok videos, Facebook, uh, all of those things that you, that you have to your tools that you can use to actually generate the, the, the meat at the top to get to the sales, get the sales in, because it's a continuous process. Else, you're going to have a business that is going like this, like a wave, like a trend. Now, this month we are making money, and the next three or three months you're not making money. 
and then you make money for the, for two months, and then for the next three months, you're not making money. No one can survive like that. No one wants to survive like that. And uh, that's not running a business. That is mainly just being there. It's rather than go work for someone that you get a constant salary, it's better. Okay, so getting the sales and marketing right, getting that uh, part right where you know this is what we can get in, and that runs constantly. You don't, and it's not going to cost you an arm and a leg, I must also add that. And another problem with that strategy also just on that point is that uh, people try that for a day or two or a week and they say it doesn't work. Obviously, it's not going to work. If I play a song on the radio only three times, it's not going to become a hit. So if they play the song 20 times a day for two weeks, then everybody starts to like it. Like Flowers, Miley Cyrus, the classic example. Uh, if you only heard that song once, no one would have liked it. That's the truth. So you've got to have that repetition. And then in the operations part, you've got to have a strategy in terms of productivity. Uh, people doing their work. What are, what are they doing? How effective are they? All of those things you need to look at. Because it doesn't help you've got the, 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 the sales on the top, but you don't have the operational strategy to see how the people are actually performing. Do they have the right skill set? Do they know what they're doing? Do you have the right people there? So that's another point you have to look at. And then the front of the costing, uh, which I get very often. People uh, are, um, and I, I do these exercises every day, uh, have got uh, products that they're selling services. Uh, they're not making money on it. Believe me, they're not. When they do a costing exercise with them, then they start to realize that they're actually paying, they're losing money. They're not actually making any profit on what they're selling or what they are providing. Uh, and that is, that's a given. Uh, out of the 10 products I've found with one, or not one, most of the customers, a maximum of three out of the 10 are actually profitable uh, uh, with the current costing system they have. Uh, and there's no budget, there's no sales forecasting, none of that is in place. So what am I saying to you? You can solve this problem. You can have an answer to, to a, your uh, uh, predicament to the situation that you are currently experiencing. So please um, try focusing on the three components, your sales and marketing, the operations, and the finance and admin, and get a strategy for all three of them. And then you can start looking at um, running a business. Thank you for watching. Ciao.